What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on a brand new HD gaming capture card which supports USB 3, HDMI, bypasses HDCP protection, supports live streaming, is compatible with Windows or Mac and is very easy to use, simply plug and play. So let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with a user manual, an optional driver CD which I never needed, um, it was simply plug and play, at least they include one just in case. You also get this USB 3 cable, you also get a USB-C to USB-A adapter which will help you connect this capture card to your MacBook or your USB-C laptop. And in this bag you have an OTG cable. And last but not least, the capture card itself. So here it is guys, the USB 3 Full HD Video Capture Card. This is a very unique device, it's tiny in size, it's made completely from plastic and you have a lot of ventilation going all around the device. On one side you have a full size HDMI port and on the opposite side you have a USB 3 type B port. Now setting up is so easy, all you do is connect your USB 3 cable to the capture card. You can now connect this to your laptop or Mac via USB and in my case I will be using the USB type C adapter for my MacBook Pro. There is no external power needed, this single USB 3 cable is sufficient to power this capture card. So here's my 2017 MacBook Pro, I'm going to plug this capture card in and you can see the blue light turn on on the capture card. Now we've got the capture card plugged in, the next step is to right click on QuickTime Player and select the option New Movie Recording. QuickTime Player will now open and it will just have a black screen saying no signal. Now all you do is click on the drop down box next to the red record button. Now select the capture card in under both sections for camera and audio. That's it, you're all set up and good to go. All you need to do now is plug in your HDMI source. So first of all I'm going to test my PS4 with this. As soon as I connect this HDMI cable to the capture card you will see my PS4 screen on my MacBook. So it's working great, I'm just going to maximize the screen. You can of course capture everything you're doing by just pressing the record button at the bottom center. So I just press that button and game capturing has begun. So I just want to quickly show you that HDCP protection is still enabled so you can capture everything on your games console and HDCP will be simply bypassed automatically. So first of all let's check out Netflix. Now usually you cannot capture Netflix as HDCP will prevent it. But as you can see Netflix is working fine and I am capturing everything you see on screen. And it works great. So as you can see that worked great, I can't show you too much of that. So let's quickly load up a game. So that worked great with my PS4. Now another device which never works with capture cards due to HDCP protection is the Amazon Fire TV Stick. Well I'm pleased to tell you that the Amazon Fire TV Stick works great with this capture card with all HDCP bypassed. And as soon as I connect this up you will see the home screen for the Fire TV Stick. And there you go, everything working perfectly fine. The screen capturing is still happening, everything you see right now is being recorded. And there you go. Fire Stick working fine. You are Ifa, son of Ragnar Lossbrook. <laughs> Discover the true story of a most unlikely friendship. Where we are? Dubai. I'll be honest, visibility is a bit poor out the side. <laughs> So I actually recorded everything we just did and the output video gets saved directly on your computer giving you a 1080p at 60 frames per second video file and the file from where I got was .mov because I used QuickTime Player to capture this. QuickTime Player I found the easiest to get started but this is also compatible with Windows and Mac and lots of third party software such as OBS, Wirecast, Adobe Flash Media Live and many more. You can live stream, output a maximum of 1080p at 60 frames per second do voiceovers at the same time as recording live streams. This basically does everything very nicely. And I love the fact that you do not need an external storage to save the output video. Everything gets saved directly on your PC or Mac. 
This is a very useful and convenient product which is great for gamers and video content creators who regularly need to capture video content. And also the bonus of being able to do voiceovers at the same time is very useful and so is the live streaming capabilities. I like that there is no external power source needed and also everything gets saved directly on your PC so no extra drives or USB sticks needed at all. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this capture card. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys. Thank you.